Hi, third and fourth grade. This is your video today. I'm so excited to be here. Let's get started. Here we go. All right. Today we're going to talk about a compound word and what those are. Compound words. Remember, there are two words put together to make one word. So like in this word I have, I have rain plus bow. You make the word what? Rainbow. Very good. So a compound word is two words put together to make one word. I need your help. I need your help to help me figure out what these words are if I put them together. All right, the first word that I have is I have mail plus box. What word am I going to get? Put those words together and I get, you're right, I get the word mail box. Very good, I get mailbox. Now let's look at the next one. Base plus ball. What compound word do I get? I get the word, you're right again. Base, ball. All right, next one I have bird plus house. What do you get? You put them together, you get bird house. Very good. Bird house. Now let's go to the next one. I have tooth and I have brush. I put those two words together and I get the word toothbrush. Very good. T oh. Ooh, that one almost didn't fit on my board. Toothbrush. That's a long one. The next one, if I had put dog plus a house, I get what? You're right, dog, house. All right, so when you have two words and you put them together to make one word, that's a compound word. All right, friends, the next thing that we're going to talk about today is what is a glossary? What is that? A glossary. Hmm. Well, glossary is a list of terms. It's always in ABC order. Okay, it gives words along with their definitions. And sometimes you can see here that it gives a pronunciation of how to say those words. If it's kind of a tricky word, they will have that included for you with hyphens or with lines like this over the top of it so that you know how to say that word. Okay, it's always in the back of a book and it explains difficult or unusual words and expressions. So glossaries, where do you find them? That's right, you find them at the end, don't you? They're at the back of the book. A lot of the times, think about your science book or your math book. Where is that glossary? Yeah, it's at the back, isn't it? And it's a, it's a, not a table of contents. That's different. We'll talk about that later this week. But a glossary gives the definitions of terms, and it's in ABC order. And it's always at the back. All right, friends, so I have a couple challenges for you today. The first challenge is I want you to see, can you find a book that has the glossary? And show me, drop a picture in the comments of your book that has the glossary. The next challenge that I have for you, since we talked about compound words, is I want you to make a compound word sheet that looks like mine. Now, you don't have to use the same words that I do, but I want you to come up with your own. So let me show you what that looks like. All right. Here, all you do is I take a uh, simple sheet of paper, right? Just looks like this, okay? And what I do is I fold it in half. Each side, I fold it in half like this. And then what I did is I folded it once, folded it twice, and folded it again. So it looks like this when you get done, okay? And what I want you to do is I want you to do part, right, one part of the word here, one part of the word here, and then when you open it up, you write the compound word. And then I want you to draw a picture. This is rainbow. I did some that we already did today. Next one is dog plus house. We said equals dog house. Very good. Next one that I have is base and ball. That equals the word baseball. Yes, I know. My baseball looks terrible. It's okay. Next one I have is tooth. Plus brush, and that is a toothbrush. And I want you to put the words inside of there. You can use mine, 
or you can come up with your own. I can't wait to see if you can find a glossary in your book. I'll see if I can find one in my book. And then make your compound words until we meet tomorrow. Bye, friends. Have a good day.